seven and I'm still living with my parents in Overland Park. I have an art history degree from a night school. My cat just died. I've lost 25% control of my sphincter muscles. I get a clicking sound in my jaw when I eat. I drive a 91 Dodge Neon. I have ovarian cysts. Sometimes I pee the bed still. I have alopecia. The only man who wants to fuck me is my 48-year-old manager at Pizza Street. P.S. He only has one ball. So I guess, better than you.
Hello, everybody. How's it going? Partner Plussy. Mm, sticking in my partner Plussy. <laughs> my Twussy. <laughs> <laughs> hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Ogden, thank you for the 37 months. PK Madrigal, how's it going? Oh, so many new Waru PG emotes today. I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh. Hello, hello. Stegzy, hi, Kebra. Marinated Mars, Toasty. Hello, hello. Her Joanne era. Giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up. Shake that body to the ground. Let me turn my captions on. Hello, Pickle Lennon. Hello, David. Hello, Amy. How's it going, everybody? Hi, <laughs> thick and juicy. <laughs> Hello, Flo. How's it going? North, thank you so much for the 22 month resub. David, thank you for the 84 months on tier two. Thank you very, very much. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going, going, girl? We were gonna try to go see Lady Gaga in Vegas. In July, 4th of July weekend. It did not work out. It was her jazz show and I think it would have been nice but the cheapest seats were $200 and it was literally the last possible farthest away row in the entire arena and I don't feel like paying that much to then also have to commute somewhere and then also like I don't know I feel like a, her jazz show is a little bit more of an intimate thing, so I'd feel weird not being able to literally see her, <laughs> you know? So, oh well. She'll be touring, I'm sure. I'll go to the Joker 2 ball whenever she tours with that. But, oh well. More money in my pocket for Fortnite skins. Uh, today they had food trucks at our apartment, and I got a burrito and a quesadilla and a churro, and they were so good. So, so good. And Ruby was really great. She didn't bark at any men that were waiting in line with us. So, not you being forced to buy the $14,000 on stage table seats. I know my hands were pushed. It had to be done. <laughs> yeah, Ruby's losing her feminist bark. Exactly. Her feminist bark. <laughs> Honestly. No, she still got it. She still got it. She did growl at one man, but then realized, oh, he works there. I will leave them alone. But anyway, hello, Huntober. How's it going? Hello, Nico. Namir. How's it going? Rat King Mickey, Baby Tortuga, Hannah. Ms. Warubichi. Hello, hello. I can't wait for you to be... Mm. Lauren in apartment. My apartment. Mm. Lauren in me. I'm so excited. LA, mm, Lauren and me. Hello, Amy, Pickled Lennon. Hello, hello. Can you hold this laser pointer? I was pointing at a plane for a sec. <laughs> sure, here. Mm, mm. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Can I try? Um, hello, Nappin. Fable, Shrub Crossing, Cackling Stumps, Marble Sky, North, Rancher Lex, Kiwi Swan, Fishman, thank you for the 15 streams, Damien for the 55, Marble Sky with the 85, Lauren with the 15, my streak is so bad, I got, I'm back down to one for Miss Warapichi, because I can't get my ass out of bed in time to, to watch anything i missed all of Mel's GTA streams, I'm so annoyed at myself, but I tuned in today. Mel sent a mass text to our Discord server saying, Lauren's about to beat Zelda. And I didn't even care I was at the gym. I opened that shit. It froze every two sentences you said, but I watched it. And I was so glad. And then eventually I made it home. And I was able to see the juicy part uninterrupted. But yeah. Hello, Aqua. 
Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, guys? Hi, Mal. Oi, how's the missus? Oh, she done got, she done real good tonight. We had, we had chicken and, 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 and tacos on the couch, and we watched Avatar last night, and we, we made it to season, season, book three, episode one, and we, by golly, we loving the show. We're loving the show. I'll have a cup of coffee, a cup of joe here, and, uh, yeah. I have never once heard you do a good <laughs> UK accent. What are you talking about? I was doing my southern accent just now. <laughs> it feels like I'm wearing, watching Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Cringe. And be nice. Bilingual king. Okay, John Burns. <laughs> They do need a streak badge. They really do. Can you say a tatty scone in a Scottish accent? <laughs> well, I didn't know you wanted a Scottish accent until the end of the sentence, so let me try again. Um, if you had a chance to change your fate, would you? Would you want a tatty scone? Quick, do Polish. No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, king of improv. No. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Hello, hello, hello. This is so revealing of the fact that you watch zero British food YouTubers. And guess what? I'm at peace with that mentally. <laughs> Can you do Michael doing an American during Fortnite? Hanar. Hanar? Hanar, do you want some fizz? Hanar, do you want some fizz? I'd like to play Fortnite today. I didn't really get to play much last night. Because my stinking boyfriend wanted to hang out. <laughs> Can you do a dying King Charles impression? <gasps> Did you, could you tell I tried to put an English accent on that? The old ball and chain got you down, huh? Yeah. We watched Avatar. We finished book two last night. <laughs> the way I knew you would breathe out. <laughs> that just reminded me of two TikToks that I'd like to show. You are all so fucking lucky that I was responsible today. Because I almost canceled my stream today to watch the Princess Diaries with Mel and David. But I said to Dallas, I think I'm going to cancel my stream. And he said, don't. Fuck Princess Diaries. And I was like, I've never seen it. He was like, you've never seen it? I was like, no. He was like, I'll watch it with you. You need to stream. I was like, okay. So. Okay, I have some TikToks to share. Before we start Stardew. I just added heavy breathing to my indie game. <laughs> it sounds great. This is exactly the kind of thing that gamers love. I wonder though, maybe he isn't breathing heavily enough. <laughs> what do you think? Should he breathe even harder? <laughs> oh, I love Undertale so much. 
Uh, it's just like I remember it. <sighs> okay. Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome back. We're playing Stardew Valley again today. I'm so happy and excited um, about this. It was really fun getting back into it yesterday. Posture check. I'm wearing my Trixie Mattel shirt that I got in 2018. It's from Urban Outfitters. I had an Alaska one as well, but I don't know what happened to it. But it's pretty cute. It's like her old mug a little bit as well. I think it's like right after All Stars 3 or something. I... This is the type of merch that I need drag queens to put out. Your face is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I want that on a t-shirt. I want just like a glamour shot on a t-shirt. I don't really want like uh, some someone in like MS Paint tracing this picture of Trixie and then putting that on a t-shirt. I don't want that. Like, I love, like, the, the, the glamour shots. I have a shirt of Shea Coulee from her, um, the skin, Love the Skin You're In runway. And she's coming out of a clamshell. I love that shirt. I can't wear it on stream because she fully has nipples on it and, and female presenting breasts. So I can't wear it on stream, but. You're not buying a burger finger text on a t-shirt. No, and I'm not buying attitude check either. Hello, Dauntless. How's it going? You should make a t-shirt of you groping your boob. That would sell. That would sell. Um, all right. Looking for save games. Look at all of these save files. Egg farm, Petcha farm. Muffin farm. Not the fucking. <laughs> Not the lesbian farm that I started being muffin farm. Never getting past year one on any of these. No, I got to year three on this one. I ended up playing on the Switch a lot more. I think I ended up getting pretty far on the Switch. But these are all the same save file. A lot of these. Like, these are the same one. I think I just, like, copied it or something. Or No, I know what this is. I think some of these were I needed footage of the beginning of the game for my YouTube video because like it's all the same outfit and everything. I think that's what I needed. Anyway, I love my blue guy so much. I think he's so cute. <laughs> egg on farm. Bethy, thank you so much for the 41 months. You have no idea how excited I am for this stream when you announced that you were streaming at the end of your Stardew video years ago. That's how I found your streams. I'm nostalgic. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. That's so kind. Oh my gosh. I really, it, it's literally been like, I have not played this game since it came out on the Switch. I played it for like two months nonstop and then I dropped it again for seven years. <laughs> so it's been really fun to play it again. It's been very exciting. <gasps> the cherry blossoms and all my carrots. Oh my God. But thank you so much for sticking around all these years. Are my beans ready? Are they still not ready? Hi, Mike Luna. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. He's so cute. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna go sell these to Pierre so I can get the money now because I want to buy more seeds. So cool that I have carrots. These are new to this, to like this week's update, I believe. Everyone was telling me that. Ooh, I needed the dandelions. Very good, very good. We're foraging, You're, we're foraging, your honor. Um, but yeah, it's been so long since I played this game. And for a long time, I was very intimidated to get back into it because it they just added so much stuff. And for a while, I was like, well, I don't really feel like replaying all of the stuff that I have played before. But I've decided, actually, it's been long enough that I think easing myself into the new stuff by redoing a lot of the stuff that I've done in the past is actually kind of nice. Would you like a carrot? This is great, thanks. Wow. He really liked it. I think that they pretty much like most... Like, it's a universal like, I think. For, like, fresh produce. Oh, it's Vincent's birthday today. I forgot about Lewis's birthday. A sardine easy. I gotta go get my... Um, fishing rod. Alright, let's go to Vincent's house. Happy birthday! Here's a potato. I feel like people who are super into Stardew are also quick to judge when you're not as knowledgeable of it, too. That's always... That's what's always my blocker. Um, that's so wild, because the bitches that, like, kin this fucking game to, like, no other... Happy birthday, here's a carrot. This isn't very fun. Well, fuck you, brat. Um, I feel like the people that, like, really, like, make this game their entire aesthetic preach, like, I'm a comfy, cozy streamer, I'm a comfy, cozy gamer, and then they be the most evil fucker you've ever seen in your entire life. So... Mmm, not sure if it all adds up here. Hello, hot stuff. Would you like a potato? This is cool. Thanks. <laughs> Would you like a, a potato? <laughs> oh my, it looks wonderful. When I played this game for the first time, bitch, I had the wiki on standby. Pierre is close today. Um, I had the wiki on standby. Which I think is pretty common. But I think I'm going to try my best to play this game without the wiki. I'll ask questions. But I think it'll be fun if I, like, give somebody something gross and they get mad at me. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's go catch a sardine. And we'll water my plants. No story spoilers either. Honestly, though, like, there is, like, some slight story to this. Like, there is the, the hard events for getting to know people and, like, the different cutscenes that happen when you romance people. So, there is kind of some, some spoilery things that people could say. How do I... Hang on. Damn, these beans take fucking forever. That's wild. How do you grow more carrots? By planting carrots in the ground? Or do I need, um... Let me see. Maybe I can do that. No, I don't want to eat it. Okay, sell that. I'm gonna save the copper. Actually, let me go. I would like my pickaxe to be upgraded, I think. So I'm gonna go to the guy. Take this to Gunther. Um, and this quartz, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take these to the museum and then I'm gonna get these geodes processed. Actually, maybe I should wait till I have a good luck day. What's my luck today? Day is in your hands. It's neutral. I'll just go. 
I'll go. I just don't like to go on bad luck days because I don't know if it can influence it. I can't wait for the guidebook reprint so I can fruitily flip to the gift guide page instead of opening the wiki. Maybe I'll buy it. Maybe I'll buy it. Also, Jimmy, I was right. Uh, was I right? Did you drool for the Tears of the C Kingdom credits music? Um, I don't remember my opinion of the credits music. I think I talked a lot over it because, not to put them on blast, I was arguing with Jacob Tens <laughs> about whether or not Tears of the Kingdom was a failure financially. And, um... Owning the fuck out of them, if I do say so myself. <laughs> say so myself. <laughs> so I don't remember, but you should watch that VOD. I really need to post those because it was fucking good, honestly. It was a very funny VOD. <laughs> I have opinions. <laughs> no Nintendo Defender. I was just like... Let's be serious. Let's look at the numbers. It sold almost as much as Breath of the Wild in less time. So... You should watch that VOD. I need to post those. The VOD is still available on Twitch. My VODs have been public again now that the Kingdom Hearts games I've been playing have not been getting me muted anymore. Breath of the Wild was also on two consoles. Mm, yeah, but like eight people bought it on the Wii U. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't realize I forgot that I get rewards for donating. Completely forgot. Yay, another new reward. <gasps> Melon seeds. I gotta save those. Can I put this dwarf helmet on my head? No, damn. You said facts don't care about your feelings. Is it that, is that Tommy Lauren's catchphrase, catchphrase or is that Blair White's? Not that I would know. <laughs> I just remember people making fun of them. It's Ben Shapiro, same shit. <laughs> same shit, different font. Yeah, this is a pretty cute mug. I got it a long time ago. It's from the Pokemon Center website, so I don't know if they still sell it. There was a Vulpix one that I thought about getting as well, but at the time I had plenty of mugs, so I only bought the Fennekin. But yeah, it's really cute. I love using it in like autumn time specifically, but it's also just cute year round too. Um, okay, let's plant these cauliflower seeds since they are in season. I do want to make an aesthetically pleasing farm. My first farm ever was so ugly because I kind of was learning as I go. And you only have so much stamina in the day at the beginning too. So I kind of just did what I had to do to make money and progress through the game. But my... Switch farm, I was much more aware of, like, what's worth even growing um, and stuff. So, I did not really... I, I was a lot more aesthetically pleasing. I should sh open up the game on my Switch and look around that farm. Because I thought I did a pretty good job decorating it. But yeah, I posted a GIF today on Twitter for the live account. I'm going to screenshot it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And I, I really want to, like, put a lot more of an emphasis on decorating my farm in this, this playthrough. Because this game is really fucking pretty. There's some really beautiful pixel art in this game. Where is it? Here it is. Look at this. Look, this is their drop box for their, their, like, you know, where you sell stuff. This is gorgeous. 
So I really want to put in the effort to make a really beautiful farm in this one. Can you put stuff on the grass here? It looks like they, that almost looks like modded. What if you revisit pixel art now that you've done more art? I actually was thinking about that literally last night because I was like, I should go through my pixel art again and draw more of the characters that I came up with as non-pixel. And then I should do vice versa. I should make pixel art of the characters that um, I have done traditionally, well, digitally, but you know what I mean. Um, Cause I think that'd be really fun. Like doing pixel of my alien and ghosty. Hi, Mads. Oh my God, that's such a good emote. Wow. Allie's so fucking good at art, dude. All right, Um, I guess I can spend the rest of my day going to the mine. Oh no, I wanted to catch a sardine from Marnie. That's right. I better hope, oh, I think you get two ga gays, two game days to fulfill a quest. So I could give it to her tomorrow if I miss her today. <laughs> Dramatical Corgi, thank you so much for the 29 month resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, I have to update my partner plus count because we shot up like another 20 subs overnight. Yeah, Two, 238, we're almost halfway. We're, we're almost 50 subs away from two of three months for partner plus. The bitches get shit done. Thank you, Wetsies. Thank you so much, all, always and forever. God making Derek Barry. You get two gays. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Did you guys see that picture, that meme that was like gay couples on their 10th anniversary and it's the crossroads of like a new puppy or a third? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Barry Gary, thank you so much for the 14 month resub. Thank you so much. I should bring my hoe around with me. I think I'm gonna try to save up for the next backpack upgrade. It's 10,000, it's gonna take a while, but it's just really useful to have the storage on you. A broken CD. So how do we feel? About what, Diva? About the new Off the Hook versus uh, Shiver and Fry song? It was so good. Hi, Blue. Yes, more Stardew. What NPC are you going to date? I'm thinking Shane. I do like Alex a lot, too. And I've never dated either of them. And... I do like, what's his name, Harvey, the doctor, but I feel like that's a little bit too much like I'm dating myself visually. So I think I will probably pass. I had, I, but I had max friendship with Shane when the game first came out. He was one of the first characters I befriended because um, it was so easy to get beer. Um, and he wasn't romanceable yet. I should look into mods that change the character designs a little bit because I think I would be interested in a lot of the different guys if they were more my type. It really just comes down to like their portraits sometimes. Like I think I would really like Sam if he didn't look like a Dragon Ball Z OC. <laughs> but I guess some people really like him and I think that's okay. I still don't have a sardine. I might have to fish from the dock. That was when I was getting them the most. A herring. I also disabled my mods that randomly changed certain things to Pokemon. Because it was breaking my immersion. And also I was worried it would like break certain things. Every person takes steroids mod, even the women. <laughs> 
No, because when I was starting to play Skyrim, my friends sent me a mod that made all the men cartoonishly huge, and I was like, damn, I need that. Maybe that will get me to play Skyrim. You say that as if you weren't obsessed with the look of the Dragon Ball figure with the tight-ass shirt. Yes, Broly. I saw that figure, like, a couple days later at a figure shop in Little Tokyo, and I... If it was not $400, I would have bought it. <laughs> if it was, like, less than 50 I would have bought it. As, because I thought it would be funny as fuck. I did buy uh, an Aang and Katara figure set off of eBay. Because they were actually really cheap. I think Katara was, like, 20 and Aang was 15. And they're, like... They're kind of like fig. I don't know if they're Figma level, but they come with a bunch of different faces. Um, but they're they're definitely like a SH Figuarts Arts type at the, at least in terms of quality, which is still great, especially for the price. So I'm excited about that. I feel like I've seen them before at like Walgreens. I've seen Avatar Last Airbender action figures at Walgreens before, but they always were a little weird looking. Also, I think back in the day, they never made Katara or Toph merch. They didn't even really make Zuko. I think most of the merch was Aang and Sokka, which is like, God, toy companies are so fucking stupid and think boys don't want girl toys. Literally, like, I'm sorry, but how are you going to, like, accurately represent the show if you don't have every character? Maybe sardines are only in the morning? Because I haven't found a single one. What about Aang and the boulder? Okay, first of all, the boulder is such a smash, and also smash me with a boulder. Um... Sorry, I have to focus. Woo! Um, but also, apparently, Toph, Beta Toph, was going to be a big man. Similar to the boulder in design. But they decided to make her a little girl instead. Sea Jelly... I love that Toph is a girl. Me too. Every time Katara or Toph or Azula does anything, I literally am just like, God, she's so fucking cool. <laughs> Aang too. There's a lot of stuff that Aang does that I'm like, God, he really is a fucking amazing guy. And Iroh. Zuko, he's not that good of a firebender, honestly, for most of the show. I love Suki as well. Big Suki fan. Is this an Ozai safe space? Yes. Dallas today was literally like, I fucking hate that guy. Meanwhile, I'm like... I gotta get home. <gasps> A soda. Ruby. I said this a couple times, but Korra does not do as good of a job at showing how um, she heard her brother's name. Yeah. <laughs> Korra does. I think one of the few things about Korra that I don't like is I don't think it does the best job of showing that non-benders are just as capable as benders. Because most of the cast in Korra is a bender. Whereas in Avatar, Azula's two fucking deadly sidekicks are both non-benders. The Kyoshi Warriors are non-benders. Jet, non-bender. I think all of the Freedom Fighters are non-benders. Sokka proves to be very capable by the end as well. 
Um, like, I would say there are more non-bending characters in Last Airbender than there are Korra. The non- the bender- non-bender divide was such a surprise because I never thought of that in Avatar. <laughs> yeah, and I think- I don't think that they- they don't have a point, either. You know? Like, an entire war was started by benders oppressing non-benders. You know? I don't know. It's- it's- it's interesting. Obviously, the way they went about it was horrible, but it's it's a very interesting, uh, you know, bit about the universe. Like, how how does it feel to be a non-bender when somebody could, without a weapon, instantly fucking kill you, basically, at any chance? Like, I, you know, it's 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 interesting to think about. Um, but yeah, I, I think all the time, I'm like, God, I'd be so pissed if I was a non-bender. Especially, like, and they do touch on it a little bit in Last Airbender when Sokka's like, I'm just not as capable as, like, Katara, who literally, like, can control the entire ocean. Toph invents metal bending, and, like, Aang is the fucking avatar. Like, it's, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's an interesting conversation. Um, but yeah, I feel like in Korra, like, there's Tenzin, all of his kids. There's Korra, Mako, and Bolin. Korra can bend all of the elements, for the most part, throughout the entirety of the show. Um, or at least with Aang, he's, like, slowly learning more. Um. There's just a lot. There's just a lot more benders in Korra. Not to sp spoil too much, because I know there are people that are making... God, I'm so gassy today. There are people that I know that are watching my streams that are still making their way through Korra for the first time, or haven't started it yet, so... Spirits are very happy today that I'm going to the mines right the fuck now. I'm gonna water my shit, and then I'm going to the mines. I lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return ASAP. You got it. What is the reward for Marnie? 120 gold? I don't care. I'm, I'm not wor worrying about that anymore. Okay, I'm gonna bring the, the sea jelly with me to heal myself when I'm in the mine. Oh, that's right. The beans replenish once they're fully grown, which is why they take so long. I'm less annoyed now. I need a well, and I need, I think after, once the next season starts, once it's like too late in the summer, or in the spring to plant anything, I think I'm gonna use that time to focus more on like organizing my farm a little better. I think at that point, I'll have gotten sprinklers maybe too, leveled up a little bit. How much copper I need for um, to upgrade my pickaxe? I don't remember. I'm gonna go try. Love a green bean or some asparagus. Asparagus really makes me feel like it's summertime and my dad's grilling. My dad was not the best chef, but he could really, he was very good with our grill. Oh, to steal Robin from her husband and cause her to have a gay sexual awakening. Is that... Uh, is she courtable? 
I don't remember. I don't think she is. You missed watering a plant. I'll do it when I get home then. From my day out. It's locked, I forgot. Robin, a woodworker, so straight, I know. Lesbian stereotypes are so cool. <laughs> like, <laughs> like they're so good at stuff, and <laughs> gay stereotypes are just, like, first of all, true. Like, gay men are dumb <laughs> and annoying. Like... <laughs> Copper pickaxe, okay. I still don't have enough. Copper trash can. <gasps> Reclaim 15% of the value. Interesting. Pigs, mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but pigs for each other. <sighs> I got some fucking pigs in my messages today and I was like, thank you very much. I was very lucky to have a library in a, such a small town. Carpenter, lesbian, daughter, or gay thought son. Yes. <laughs> I used to say that I have the haircut of a lesbian because my aunt has the same haircut as me, but I think I have the haircut of a, or of a late, like a early, like a young boomer, old oldest Gen X lesbian. Cause now lesbians, like young lesbians have like mullets and shit. They don't really have this haircut anymore. This was very like Hannah Hart era lesbians. I said it once and I'll say it a million times. The lesbians have always been my most ride or die wetsies. The gay men, they only fucking started showing up more often once I started fucking taking my shirt off. <laughs> the lesbians have loved me since the beginning of time itself. Hello. Shut up. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah, so true. Hi, Josh. Hello, homeless man. You'll take anything. Actually, I need this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I need this for my for my community center. All right. The spirits are in good 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 whatever today. You waved that shit in his face. <laughs> I really did. Uh, BB Barrett, thank you for the eight month resub. Love the lesbians. Love the lesbians. I saw this TikTok that was like, it was a lesbian. I think it might have been a lesbian. They were doing a mask makeup tutorial, and I was like, I'm a man and I need this. <laughs> what the? It was crazy. Also, Flo, thank you for the 55-month resub. Yeah. The, I will say, there are plenty of gay men that have been ride or die for me for a very long time. But the vast majority only, I feel like, started caring once I got muscles. Like, when I would go to conventions and stuff, most of the people that I would meet were uh, trans and uh, AFAB non-binary people and lesbians. But the cis gays, they don't give a fuck about me. Well, they, they do. I need 
more copper. I really want to upgrade like a, my watering can and everything. I need more money. Okay, it's jelly time. Wow, that's a lot of energy. You need to hold a wet seas census. Honestly, like a demographic survey? That's not a bad idea. Because I, I, I don't know, I do like to know. Uh, more, like about my audience and like how they identify and everything because it helps me I don't know just know the types of people I'm talking to better I think that there should be something that you can work towards like a time bracelet but yes, your tits are amazing too. Thank you. I had a very good titty day at the gym today. And arm day. But definitely titty day. I did titties the most. But my arms were very pumped today as well. It was a very good day at the gym. And it was even better once I started watching Miss Waro Peachy's stream in the middle of my workout. I make the time fly, what can I say? Honestly, like watching a Twitch stream or something at a workout, when you're not lifting weights, that could kill you if you drop them. Like I usually don't watch anything. I don't listen to podcasts unless I'm like on the treadmill. Um, or like using one of the machines that like, I could literally release the weights at any time and it won't hurt me. Um, but honestly, like, that's not a bad idea. Like, I used to listen to songs and, like, on the treadmill, and I would force myself to, like, run as fast as I can until, like, a certain verse in the song. Like, I would listen to Adrenaline by RuPaul. And I would, I would, like, jog or walk while they're going, Give me one shot of Adrenaline. And then the part where they're like I would fucking run as fast as I can oh my god these fucking slimes dude are deadly Anyway, what I think what I was saying was I wish that there was like a bracelet or something you could get that like slows down time, but you have to really like by like 10%, like very negligible amount, but it makes it like, I don't know. Like makes it a good reward to work towards, I feel. Cherry bomb. I stopped watching her show a long time ago because I started to learn more, I think, a little bit about, like, her politics not really entirely lining up with my own. Like, I didn't... Uh, I used to watch Samantha Bee's show a lot, but... She really, like, went in on, like, the Bernie hate and was, like, super pro-Hillary for a while. And it really was kind of annoying to me. And there was, like, some... It was definitely more, like, liberal than, like, leftist. So I, I kind of just stopped watching. I also, like, after Trump won, I really, like, I couldn't... I had to, like, take, like, two months to, like, not really keep up with politics because I was just so... <sighs> like, I was so aware of everything. Um, but the theme song for her show, I think they just did it, like, on a recent season of Drag Race as a lip sync song. On Canada. Canada season four. It's a good song. Boys wanna be her, the girls wanna be her. Like, it was a song before her show, but I knew that song because of her show.
Ooh, cave carrot. I want to try to get as far down as I can. At least to the next, like, elevator checkpoint. I only- I think that's one more floor. One more staircase. Ugh. Okay, I gotta go. I must leave. I'll have to equip better. Wild. I think it's a, was it a horseradish? <laughs> but I got a lot of copper in that trip, which is great. Whoop. You coming out was what helped me accept I was a gay man. Well, that's great. Thank you for that. I'm going to get a little real right now. As a recently out queer woman back in 2018, your streams were a safe hideaway. Because I knew the majority were lesbians and trans folk. And to be honest, gay men have not always been welcoming to queer women. Yeah, they haven't. Like, point blank. And it's very fucking annoying. And shameful, honestly. Because, um... Like, if you just look at history, like... Queer women and, and trans people and... There wasn't the word at the time, but, like, non-binary people, they were that. They just didn't call themselves that. Like, they were the leaders in fighting for gay rights. And, like, lesbians took care of sick gay men when their families did not want them when they were dying of AIDS. And, like, I'm pretty sure that's why the L is before the G in LGBT. Um... And I just feel like a lot of people don't know that stuff. And it's really embarrassing to me. A lot of the, like, misogyny. Like, gay men say they live for women, but will sometimes be some of the most misogynistic. It's not good. It's really, it's not a good, it's a, it's a problem. It's a real problem. I got some some new items in stock, a deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can attach to it. You can use bait to make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon. Cool. Oh, another one. Dear Jimmy, tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in the town square. You should arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt. I certainly wouldn't. I don't think that cauliflower is ready yet. I never won the egg festival. I think I have. I think I have, but I don't think I won it my first year. I think I won it the second time I played it because I kind of like memorized where the eggs would be. Unless it's random. Oh yeah, I forgot about the traveling guy. I should check the bookseller, too. I win every time. I don't fuck around. <laughs> I was fighting for my life in a multiplayer save, but girls make do. <laughs> I think this guy comes on Fridays and Sundays? Yeah. Oh, it's a lady! I love her earrings. Kale anchovy. Barbed hook. Crystal path. Summer spangle. A pumpkin. 
this is a great way to get um, stuff for your catalog, too. I think I need this dandelion. Are you an oyster girl? No. No, I'm not the biggest fan of most seafood. I am starting to branch out more. But no, I do not like oysters. Or like clams or anything like that. My parents met at a clam bake in Newport, Rhode Island, I think. Don't you have work to do? Yeah. Is this a baseball bat? It's a wooden club. Oh, wow. That's better than my sword. It's just heavier. Cool. I guess I found that in the dungeon. <gasps> the balloon. I don't remember this at all. Maybe this is from when I wasn't playing the game. The hot air balloon. Where do they go? Where, where are they? Oh, they're probably at the library, if it's a bookseller. Let me open these. Well, where did your chosen family parents meet? My chosen family parents, I don't speak to anymore, just kidding. <laughs> The balloon is brand new. Oh, wow. Where the fuck is it? I hear something. My parents met in the Jimmy Wetzel Twitch chat. Aw. Those depraved lunatics. Behind Joja. Got it. Ah, I see. Up here. Cute! Wow! <gasps> Combat quarterly. Oh my god, they're all so expensive. You'll now... You'll gain a little extra speed when riding a horse. Cool! Horse, the book, yeah. Let me bring this to Gunther. And then I will go to the community center and drop off my stuff. And then I'll go to Pierre and buy some more seeds. I never met anybody named Marcelo, but I was a big fan of Marcel the Shell with shoes on. I did, not, I did not see the movie, though, but I used to watch the YouTube shorts back in the day, a long time ago, when they were, like, new. Jenny Slate. Could you, can you, this is why you should never take getting, like, fired, especially if it's, like, an entertainment job. You should never give up, because Jenny Slate was on Saturday Night Live, and she was fired very shortly after getting on the show, because she said fuck in a sketch on air. And then, like, she went on to be, like, an incredibly successful comedic actor. She was on Parks and Rec. Like, she's great. And she dated Chris Evans for a while, which I feel like was probably a dream. They're not together anymore, but it seemed, from what we know, an amicable, amicable breakup. But yeah, I just love her. She's on that show with Nick Kroll, too. Right? I've not seen it, though. Damn, I gotta do all this shit, too. The fish. I really gotta get cracking on my fishing. But yeah. Because if you swear on live television, it costs a lot of money. Because you're, like, violating... Like... Like, some... 
TV law, especially on like a net. It's because it's network TV. Um. So, and she was not like the SNL contract is basically you get on Saturday Night Live and then you like audition for SNL, which is an excruciatingly horrible process and like spirit killing. Um. And you have to audition like three times. And then once you get hired, you're basically on probation for your entire first, sometimes first two years of the show. Which, when I learned that, I was like, I don't want to be on that show. I did for a little bit in high school. And then when I learned that, I was like, I'm not doing this fucking show. Like, there's no way I'm going to bust my ass to get a job on this show. And then, like, me stay. That, like, getting the job is not enough. Feeling every day showing up to work that I have to prove myself that I deserve to have my job. No fucking way. That's just soul crushing to me. Plus, it's such a grind working on that show. You, like, don't sleep much. Not that I do already, but... I'm probably going to need to make a scarecrow for this patch, too. Okay. Yeah, I need a better watering can. And I need sprinklers. Because this shit is so time-consuming. And energy-depleting. Miss Rube. Hi everyone, I buried a body today. Aww. And rest in peace to them. I love my Twitch streams. Where else on this website can somebody come into the chat and say this and nobody bats an eye? IDK what happened, but they deserved it. Did they question your power? Because they probably had it coming. I love the wild grass in this game. It's so pretty. It's like the weeds in Animal Crossing. I enjoyed the Marcel movie. It was charming. Yeah, I just kind of keep forgetting about it. And then I'll, every few months I'll remember it and say, I gotta watch that. And then it's not in front of me, so I forget about it. But that's every day of my life, actually. So. All right. Um, let's plant these. And then scarecrow. I need I have coal. I need wood and fiber. Okay. Fiber and wood. I'm not on Discord, but my the button above my tab key, the like tilde button. Tilde. I don't know if it's called that when it's not above a letter, but um that's my like push to deafen. <laughs> Hello, haunted Discord, yeah. Um, 
But yeah, that's the button I use for that, so. Swinton? I think I have the same birthday as her. Or maybe it, it might be Kate Blanchett. I mix the two of them up all the time. No go then that. Bug on them Let's go put this in the community center. And then I'll go to the bar and buy a beer for Shane. Um, yeah, the first couple weeks of this game, I feel like I'm just like struggling to get by, but I think that's what makes it so good once you like can really get around easily and um, can do a lot in a day and are really aware of like schedules and time management. Alright, I gotta grow parsnips, I'm growing a cauliflower, I need to grow potato. I gotta make sure I do that. The Bogo's Binted Alien is so Jimmy Core. I love little alien things like that. I need to draw more funny little alien art. Tiny object is... I love his little legs. He ha he was on like a stand, which I did not understand as a kid because like he like he he doesn't need to be supported, like he's flat on like he just sits on the ground like this. I never under so I took the stand off, so he, the, he has little pegs here that were supposed to go on it. But I was like, why would I need that? I hated when my Pokemon figures couldn't stand up without, like, a, a base at the bottom. It broke my fucking immersion. Corfish did outsell. Absolutely. Corfish! I fucking love that dude. Love that guy. Can you walk away? Okay, she didn't see me. All right, beer and a salad. Here you go. Wow, Jimby, how'd you know this is my favorite? Yeah, I don't think I'd ever guess otherwise. All right, I'm gonna save this salad for when I go into the, the mines again. I love being blue and nobody in the town questioning it whatsoever. <laughs> It's so wonderful. Ooh. Hi, puppy dog. Wake up. I want to pet you. Ooh. I'm going to burn you alive. <laughs> Ooh, charcoal kin. You're just the guy who ate quarters. Oh my god. He it was this guy who was taking silver as a supplement. And he turned blue and he called himself Papa Smurf. Dear Jimby, how are you doing, sweetie? I've missed you so much since you left. I hope the farming life is everything you hope for. Love, Mom. P.S. I sent your favorite cookies. Heart. Thank you, Mother. I remember in Pokemon games after my mom passed away and I would have to, like... Like, Platinum came out, like, four months after my mom passed away. And, and then there was a mom in that game and I just remember being, like... I hate Pokemon. Where are the dads? I want a dad. I don't have a mom anymore. 
This is making me pissed off. When they gave everyone a Latina mom in Sun and Moon. <laughs> That's why I claim it. <laughs> I can claim it. My mom in Sun and Moon was Latina. I think in all of the most recent Pokemon games, maybe they started to change your mom's skin tone based on your player characters. But I feel like a lot of the Pokemon, like I think X and Y was like that too, where the mom had more tan skin so that way they she could m more like reasonably be any player characters. Um, parent. Okay. I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell that. I'm going to take one. Sell these. Take this back. I got cookies. I'm gonna go to the mines again with my cookies. And my salad. And I'm gonna go put these in the community center. And then we're gonna go. Today's festival is being set up. Come back later. Okay, I guess I'm not doing anything <laughs> that I said I was going to do today. Actually, I think it's fine if I have it in my inventory. I don't think it'll fuck me over or anything. I have plenty of space as well for other things. Let me put my watering can back because I don't need it. And it's just taking up spots that could be dedicated to... God knows what I find in the mines today. Um, okay. Very good, very good. The egg festival has begun in the town square. Hello, Pierre. <gasps> A lawn flamingo. Strawberry seeds, plant these in the spring. It takes eight days to mature. Hmm. I don't know how long I'll have to like make it worth it because they'll wilt, you know? Because it's already, like, I think I'll only have them grow, like, one time. I could buy these in advance for next year. Maybe I'll do that. I'll buy, like, five. I'll buy ten. And I'll save them for next spring. They sell for a lot, so it's super worth it, even if we only do one harvest. Maybe I'll, I'll just save them for next spring, because then I can, yeah, I can get them going on the, the first day. Play the long con a little bit. The way I can't. <laughs> okay, I give up. Hmm, this fruit punch is us unusually good. Like, Elliot, I'm just, I'm not personally attracted to long hair, but he's hot in the face. So I would, if he kept, if, um, if he put his hair in a bun, I'd be so into it. And if he had a beard, I'd be really into it. Taking breaks from work can make you more productive in the long run. Pretty sure this is where I stopped playing. How wild. 
I've been up since dawn coloring eggs. It's always my favorite part of the season. When I've been making a lot of hard boiled eggs lately and it just makes me think of Easter. Cause like I never really ate hard boiled eggs growing up. So I would only smell that smell around Easter time. Vincent loves this festival. It's a joy to see him so happy. Egg. <laughs> what a strange thing to eat. Screenshotting that. Hee <laughs> hee, -he, I put something nice into the punch. That's why Leah's like, the punch is really good this year. She spiked it. I hope everyone is enjoying the food I've been cooking for days to get everything ready. Fried eggs, boiled eggs, poached eggs, deviled eggs, egg, scrambled eggs, chocolate eggs, you name it. I think I've actually talked to everybody now. I do think that that makes everybody. This festival is all right, but what I'm really looking forward to is the flower dance. I try to at least eat at least three eggs every day. I was doing pretty good. I was eating two a day. I might up it to three. Sometimes I'll, when I'm editing all night, I'll hard boil like four eggs and I'll just have them next to me while I'm editing and I'll dip them in like soy sauce or something and eat them. Searching for eggs is like going on a treasure hunt. Um, but... By does allergies. <laughs> we used to do a rotten egg toss. Mary Lewis put an end to that pretty quick. What's everyone so happy about? Eggs. Why eggs? This festival has been a tradition for as long as I can remember. Tradition connects us with both the past and the future. It's comforting. I wish you could reread dialogue in this game, because they say some funny shit sometimes, and I accidentally click through it too fast. Sometimes I'll hide an egg too well and no one finds it. Well, until summer rolls around, and the hot air starts to bring out the rotten smell. Eggs definitely have a place in the well-balanced diet. Welcome to the Egg Festival, compliments of my wonderful brood of hens. I hope I can find some eggs before Vincent takes them all. When does the egg hunt start? I'm so excited. The children have been looking forward to this festival for weeks. I'll always look forward to these gatherings. It makes the valley feel like a real community. Our hens have been working overtime to prepare for this festival. They deserve the best tonight. Bowls full of sweet yellow corn. No one really talks to me. I just come for the deviled eggs. <laughs> is there any more food? Spring is a busy time of year. It's nice to have time off, a day off to catch up with friends. Abby's always loved the egg hunt ever since she was a tiny girl. A tiny girl, not a little girl, a tiny girl. Oops, I should take off my doctor's hat for the time being. A tiny girl. When she, ever since she's been a tiny one. All right, let's start the egg hunt. Let's start. I'm gonna kick some fucking ass, dude. I really like scrambled eggs. Always give me gas for some reason. But I really like over easy eggs that are like a little runny. But when I have a sandwich, I usually fry them a little bit more so it's less messy. But if I'm just having eggs on a plate, I love an over easy egg that's a little runny and like a piece of toast sometimes to dip it in the yolk. Ah, so good. It's time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. When I was uh, a little bit younger, when I was like graduated from high school and I had a lot of, I was just free during weekdays, I would take the train up to Connecticut like once a month to spend the day with my aunt and my grandparents, just myself. And I would get my hair cut at the mall where nobody knew me because everyone in my neighborhood knew my dad. And they'd always ask me about, like, YouTube and, like, people I went to elementary school with worked at the barbershops. And I just didn't want to deal with that because they were not very nice when I was young. So I would go to Connecticut and I would get my hair cut at the mall. 
and um, I would go to the diner beforehand with my aunt, and we'd catch up, and we'd talk about all sorts of stuff, and I remember her telling me how self-conscious she is at diners asking for a runny egg, because she's like, I feel like a baby, being like, can you make it runny for me? <laughs> So I always think of her when, like, Dallas is like, if you're going to make me eggs, I want it a little runny or something like that. It's time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. Calm down now, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. Eggs, eggs, yeeks. Segs. My ass is so tremendously wide. Boy, oi, oi, oi. Now, is everyone ready? Let the egg hunt begin. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven. Move, you fucking asshole. Eight. Nine. How are there some out of bounds, bro? That's so fucked up. All right, let's see. Wow, look at all the eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently, we'd have the cleanest town this side of the gem sea. Ha ha ha. And now the winner of this year's egg hunt is... Jimby! I fucking schooled these chumps. Here's your prize. Enjoy. A straw hat! Yay! Well, that's it for this year's Egg Festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. My route was incredible. Yay! Oh my god, I look so cute! I feel like a real farmer. I can make it to the community center, I think. Let me put my strawberry seeds away, too. I'll make a new chest that's specifically for seeds that I'm saving so I don't accidentally, like, lose them or something. The first of many hats for soda, yeah. Ooh, cutscene! The sounds are so gross. <gasps> this does make me want to live in a rural, like, countryside area. I will not move to a rural area for another 20 years. I need the boomers that are still fucking hiding out there on their last legs to all die out. I think we as gay people need to turn the forest into a poppin' place for young, like, leftist queer people to live. The cities are becoming too expensive. We need to, we need to go back to our roots, our primal roots, and live off the land. We need to, we need to all be homesteaders. <laughs> With clean air in the mountains. And then we can open up a club in a barn. Zef Chan, thank you very much for the 43 month resub. I ain't going in the damn woods. That's fine. I do think that someday I would like to buy a house in the Hudson Valley in upstate New York and live there. I think that's where I'd like to live because then I could still take the train into the city and it's only a, an hour and a half away. But God, it's so beautiful up there. Cold Springs. That's where I'm gonna fucking live, which is not that upstate, but it's in the Hudson Valley. 
resisting the urge to Google Street View through the main street of that town because I've done it on stream before. And it's just so pretty. It's such a beautiful little town. I've never been there. I've only watched... I. There was a lesbian couple that I used to watch their travel vlogs, and they went there. I don't know if they're still together, but I loved their video. I lived vicariously through them. And then COVID happened, and then I moved away, so I have never been there. Grr. Sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy varmints. Ah, you turned up at the right time, son. Could you do an old man a favor and go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they'll never come back. Ooga booga booga. Just don't go to the places upstate where they have Confederate flags for some reason. God. <laughs> I know. Bitch, how, why do you have that? You were on the winning team and they lost. It was me. I'm sorry. I don't like knowing that if something happens and screaming for help, no one hears me. Valid fear. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Me eating Chef Boyardee from the can with a fork. I'm so Linus coated. <laughs> Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? Yes, it's disgusting. No, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Yes, it's illegal. That's George's private property. No, but you should get a job and stop leeching off others. No, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Thanks, Jimby. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. But if you scream for help in a city, girl, no one help it. <laughs> that is also true. Well, that's why I said in 20 years when all the boomers are hopefully dead. Because then maybe we'll see less Trump flags in people's lawns. Because, like, I think it's, like, a really, like, single-digit percentage of like people our demographic that like voted for Trump and stuff so I don't I it's I do think that unfortunately it will take a while because it just is a matter of people need to die <laughs> which is so horrible but like things will change someday even if, if, like, even if shit keeps going wrong, objectively, of, like, there will, change will come. Yes, re young Republicans are terrifying, but, and, like, they are not to be taken lightly. But the, the numbers don't lie that they are such a minority in the grand scheme of things. And, like, social media and, like, these like young conservative influencers really make it seem like there are more of them than there actually is when most of their viewer base is probably like conservative grown-ups it's still scary i'm not trying to like make light of it but like there are realistically there are not that many caitlin bennett's as there are like you know like what's that fucking fox news guy that complained about the M&Ms. Um, you can go on home. I promise I won't rubbish in George's trash can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. Gay people just need to keep breeding. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. This guy's so fucking good. I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Oh, that sounds so fucking good, dude. I need to make more things with zucchini because I really love it. Go on, take it. I should try frying them. Breading them and frying them in oil. Your punishment 
is being boiled in oil. I would be so fucking annoying about zoodles if I had a noodle maker. <laughs> Dallas makes uh, garlic bread sometimes. He'll just like take toast or like a bagel or something and put garlic powder and butter and then like put them in the oven. Or he'll take like the, the hamburger buns, like the potato buns sometimes if he wants like a quick snack. All right, back to my house. It really was, Cabra. It really was. Boiled in oil. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's boiled in oil. That guy's voice is so deep that it almost, like, irritates me. Give someone a gift. Okay. I'll go looking for the axe tomorrow. I think I remember where it is. I'm also going to take a bathroom break after I save. <laughs> I just smacked the shit out of my dog with a club. <laughs> Oops. Fortune teller. Okay, whatever. Weather report. What's the weather tomorrow? Beautiful sunny day. Boo. Mayonnaise machine. We can eat the. We can drink the mayo, and I can craft sprinklers. Baby, summer is going to be elite in this game. We're growing blueberries day fucking one. Okay. I will be back. I'm going to use the bathroom.
Bruh, I need to make a new BRB screen. I've had that shit since 2016. It was just so annoying to edit the, like, scrolling background that I literally was like, I'm never changing it. <laughs> but I should make one that has a bunch of all the, like, little Tomodachi life dance gifs of me on it. I think that would be fun. Like, I'm plugging YouTube on there. We all know I don't fucking use that shit. Although, I am going to stream from it tomorrow. I'm going to dual stream Princess Peach tomorrow on Twitch and YouTube. I got to make a thumbnail for that. I'll have to get up early tomorrow and do that. How's the update? Um, I haven't really played anything that's new. I'm kind of just getting back into... This is a brand new file, so I'm kind of just replaying a lot of stuff from this game that I've done before just a long time ago because it's been forever since I played this game. So I haven't really done any of the new stuff, but I did get carrots. That's new. And uh, what else did I do? Oh, I checked out the bookseller, which is pretty fun I think I'm gonna go for Shane this route I'm between Shane and Alex I think but that could change if I decide to download some like portrait mods that change the appearance I just want them to still be in this like Stardew Valley style so we'll see I'm not in any rush I'm fine with getting married not even in like my first year of the game or whatever in the past I romanced Sebastian twice the first time, uh, Sebastian was, uh, Shane was not romanceable. And then the second time, I just ended up going with Sebastian again. Because I still really liked him. And it felt wrong to date somebody other than him. No, not goodbye, Harvey Stash. It's what makes him so beautiful and handsome. And I may be biased in that. You could always download the mod that turns everyone into furries. <laughs> now, why would I need that? <laughs> Ooh, a crystal fruit. A sunflower. Wow. Is the rare seed, like, worth it to do? I don't remember. I don't need to buy it until the fall anyway. I just want to unlock the woods so I could chop down, like, stumps and stuff and go in there. Hello, Flan Thief. I already answered your question. Well, I answered your question, and now I'm saying hello. Hello, doggy. I want the cave. I want my, my mushrooms. Actually, I think I will go with the fruit. I need to go buy parsnips. I like that this farm is divided into quadrants because I can kind of just focus on developing one at a time without feeling like everything is in disarray. Alright. Community center. Pantry. I just need parsnips. So I can sell this green bean. I'll plant these. There was a mod I wanted to install once where it gave everyone seasonal outfits and portraits, but I don't know how that works. Um, I think that they, at least, uh, the, their characters are going to get winter portraits now. I think that's, like, a big thing in the new update. I've seen Sebastian's, because everyone says he looks like Gru from uh, Despicable Me. Taking a break from house chores today. Oh, you better work, girl. You better take a fucking break. Take a sit. Take a load off. It's Haley's birthday. Slay 10 green slimes. Fuck yes. 600 gold. 
Haley. I'm going to give you a gift. I don't know what, though. I could give her cookies, I guess. She might not hate that. Alright. 20 parsnips. I'll do two tulips. Oh, I can buy, I can just buy parsnips. That's very useful. I'll buy one for the catalog and I'll give one to Haley. Happy birthday, here's a parsnip. I'm sure you're gonna fucking love it and not be mean to me. She's usually up here, I think. Hmm. Maybe not yet. Maybe she's at home. I love a swing set. Oh, there she is. Hi! Gross! You got me this on my birthday? What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, girl. Didn't think you'd hate it that much. How to win friends, yeah. How to, how to buy your friends. Not gonna lie. As someone whose love language is gift giving, it's giving gifts. <laughs> Haley loving coconuts is so funny. I didn't know she likes coconuts. She does give a little bit Kim Petrus, so it makes sense. I wish that this game, the music would stay on. I wonder if there's an option for that sound. Mm, no. I don't like it being so ambient. Maybe I'll get a playlist of like music to play while playing this game. Cause I don't like when it's so quiet. I like the constant music in this one personally. Okay, let's go to the community center real quick and then the mines. I'm gonna bring the sword just in case I don't like the club. Let's put this parsnip away in the community center. I have good, I have a good feeling about summertime for this. I think this is, that's where we're going to make a lot of our money off blueberries. I'm hoping I can get animals soon now that I have the mayonnaise thing. The mayonnaise maker. It's such a money maker. Bundle complete. Hooray. Ooh, speed grow. Fuck yeah. I'll save those for the uh, the blueberries. Have them grow on that. Bring. You're so brave for not checking gifts before giving them to people. In the past, I have not been. But for this, like... 
I think it's kind of fun to get the nasty dialogue. So I'm open to it. I want to put the speed grow away. In case I die in the dungeon, I don't want to lose it. Because I think you lose items, right? You lose stuff from your inventory. If you die. Because I want that 600 gold. It's so funny because you picked up a daffodil like three seconds before giving her a parsnip. Oh, does she like daffodils? <laughs> Damn. Oh, well. I kind of want her to hate me for a long time anyway because I think it's hilarious. If she starts being nice to me, it's not going to be as funny, so. Sorry, but hatred and evil, kind of iconic. Kind of iconic, not going to lie. Here you go. That's a good find. I'm always happy when eating wild food. Thank you. You're welcome. The sashimi recipe, I don't remember if it if it's any fish or it has to be salmon. I think it has to be salmon. All right, let's try to get to floor 15 this time. I was close last time. Two. Yeah, cave carrot. Another one. Hell yeah. They actually give you a lot of energy back. Cave carrots are meta? Question mark. Ooh, a geode. Hate wins. That's five. Me in late year three going into year four working on increasing hearts with other characters. I enjoy the nasty dialogue. However, I haven't made many friends and I'm on year three. Yeah, I didn't really focus too much on friendships my first couple of years because I was like, I'm mostly going to spend my time trying to get married. I had like five characters that I had good friendship with. Like I got Pam because I really wanted to go to the desert. And I think in order for that, you need to like be friends with her. So she starts working on the bus again. So I should actually start giving Pam beer as well when I give some to sh uh, Shane. they make is so nasty. Seven. Eight. Just loves it. Eat the salad. That is not true. You do not need to be friends with Pam for the desert. Oh. Well, damn. I remembered a lot about this game wrong then. 
been so many years. I love being fact-checked. Okay, before I go down, though, I want to get these copper. Floor 15. New milestone. 16. Ooh. Aquamarine. I kind of want to watch that movie. I think the only thing worse than like bugs is larva. I want to get to floor 20. I'm so close. Steel small sword. Fuck yeah. Ooh, what's over here? Can I fish down here? I'll have to remember this place. Floor 20. Hardwood. Nice. Ooh. Topaz. Okay. I was hoping to find one more slime while I was down here, but that's okay. I have until tomorrow to get the last two that I need. Run, bitch. Run. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. This is so stressful. Clap if you think he makes it. Y'all better fucking clap. My bed is right here. Fortune teller, displeased today. They'll make your life difficult. Oh, wonderful. Cloudy with a light breeze tomorrow. Dear, I know you're just getting started as a gardener, so I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops will all die out, so plan ahead. Granny Evelyn. You should download scary mods. I can't imagine anything in this game being scary.
Vincent Sprite is replaced with Jeff the Killer. What's that? What's that girl that is like Jeff the Killer adjacent? Is her name like Momo or something like that? Where she has like the big bulging eyes and like the mouth that goes up to here. And there was like a news story about like kids being jump scared by it or something. Or being told to Google it. No, not Slenderman. Slenderman doesn't have a face. It was Momo. Okay. That bitch is so funny. Alright, let's go to the museum. Love being already out of energy for the entire day <laughs> at 8.20 a.m. It's just like real life. <laughs> I don't know if I'll have enough yet. I think it's like 2,000 or something to upgrade my tools, unfortunately. But I am stocking up on the copper I'll need in the meantime. <sighs> Are you going to play Splatfest this weekend? Probably not on stream, but definitely off stream because I would like some conch shells and snails. Um... Cause there's just so many clothes now that I want to add extra slots to. Um, but yeah, I picked Team Drums. Um, because I do think that if there were an instrument I would learn, it would probably be drums. I think I'm going to fish today and get some money from that. Okay. Hardwood, stone, wood. I'll put the torch down. Yeah, fuck it, why not? My new sword. I picked guitar just because I wanted to be green. Yeah, I did like the color of the green for guitar. I was just happy the, the colors were not yellow, blue, and red. Again. They're, the colors are actually kind of nice this time. All right, I want to put a copper bar on a chain. Please deliver it sometime today to Gus. Uh, they're too valuable. Sorry, Gus. <gasps> Salmonberry! Wow! I didn't realize I could pick these. Do I need these for my catalog at all? Thanks, this looks nice. You're welcome. See, someone knows how to appreciate a good gift. It'd be funny if Fry only ended up winning one fest. I did like that Pearl and Marina had dialogue about losing and winning a lot. I feel like they'll probably end up doing that soon. I think the next Splatoon game will only have two idols again. I think it's too much. I don't like the three-way Splatfest. It just splits the votes too much, and I don't care for Tricolor. Shifty Station outsold. I I honestly think that they will just have Pearl and Marina be the idols again in Splatoon 4 because they are just that popular, but I would be kind of sad. I do like getting new characters. As long as I don't have to see Callie and Marie ever fucking again. I'm so tired of the fucking flop sisters. That could be cool. Two, four idols, two on each team. I really thought that they, they, it would be boy idols to kind of like parody BTS. 
and like I don't know the obsession with like boy bands that is always a thing but nope I know Pearl 8 fry up two slimes that I need to do and be on my merry gay little way deep cut damp socks with the crazy looking fish band members I saw that there so I finally used that jukebox in Splatoon for the first time and I was like, oh my god, what? I really, I, I didn't know about it. And then I also thought that I was going to be able to choose what song I hear during the match. No, it's just for the lobby. It's a complete fucking waste of time. And coins. Um, and I was sad about that because I was like really excited because there was so much Splatoon 1 music to choose from. I really wish that that music would get rotated into the music rotation. I'm fine with never hearing Splatoon 2 music ever again, but Splatoon 1 music is so iconic to me and like still good. Two, there's a no quite a number of good songs from two, but I think the music from one and three are both better. A ghost fish, cool. Ooh, cave jelly. That's kind of fun. I don't know how much longer I'm going to stream today. I'm a little tired. And I did start kind of late today. But tomorrow, I should start pretty early in the day. Like, like 3 or 4 p.m. Pacific. Um, and I will be dual streaming on YouTube tomorrow. Not that I imagine many of you will watch me there. Because I do think that Twitch chat is better. But um, I'm interested to see how many people tune in for that. I'd like to put the... the have like the, the stream scheduled a couple hours in advance. Because when I did my fa uh, st fashion dreamer one, I just kind of went live. And like whoever like happened to be on YouTube at the time saw it but i think if i have it scheduled for like a couple hours early in the day maybe more people will show up but yeah i think for big game releases and like stuff like that i'm gonna start streaming on youtube for like at least the first stream of it especially with like pokemon and stuff Ooh, that was hard. A stonefish. Whoa. Oh my god. The jackpot, dude. All the copper in the world. I can't wait to lose this Splatfest again. <laughs> Hi, Ferocia. That's the one thing about this current one is, well, I'm on Shiver's team this time. Although, I don't know. I feel like Guitar will be... Fry got a pretty good option this time. So I feel like the people that don't pick based off of Idol will probably pick her. And like green's a nice color. Ugh, 
No! Too slow. Just need two slimes, please. I'm a big man stan all the way, but I've been picking Team Fry now just because I feel so bad for her. <laughs> it is wild just how many she's lost. Like, it's actually kind of fucking crazy. The spirits are definitely displeased with me today. There's like no stairs. Slime. Sponge. Luck. I'll save that for a day that I already have good luck. The jelly. Please give me, like, an infestation or something. Okay. One slime. I need... One more. Just one more slime, please. I might start playing this game with a controller. I think I might be better at it with a controller. We'll see though. Please, just one more. Yes! I've never been so happy to be on one of these floors. I should try my new... Seven. What do I need to make these cold? Damn. Ooh. I need to fucking just close Discord. That's so annoying. Every time.
Um, fuck the broken glasses. I want the iron. Ooh, a lot of copper over here. Green algae. Yum, yum, yum. How disgusting. I'm leaving. I'm not dealing with this. Ugh. Oh my god. Run, bitch. Run, bitch. Stardew is nice on controller. Yeah, I really liked it on Switch with a controller. I think I will probably pivot to that. The menu management is nice. Um, with a mouse. That is nice, but it's not the biggest pain in the ass with a keyboard. I'm gonna save the... the fish. Because I might need them for the catalog. You should wear this shirt more. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. I haven't worn it in a long time. Um, it's a little snug, not gonna lie. But I think it makes my tits look nice. I think we all like the snug shirts. I almost wore my Barbie crop top today. Maybe I'll wear that tomorrow for Princess Peach. I thought about wearing it today, but I just wasn't in the mood. I love that emote. I love it so much. I thought about cutting the sleeves off, honestly, to maybe make it a little bit less tight around my armpits, but oh well. It's a nice reminder that I have put in a lot of work, because I bought this shirt when I was a skinny blink, a skinny betwink, and it was kind of loose on me. Dear neighbor, I hope you are feeling settled in your new home. I am writing to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford, see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so. That's so fucking shady, honestly. See if you can afford it. Like, fuck you. Fuck Pierre. Honestly, he's kind of a douche. Like, it makes me want to buy from Jojo Mart and buy the membership. Put that fucker out of business. Yeah, the mic is good. There's so many good ones. So many good new emotes. Did Lauren say that there are gift emotes now? Like, you get emotes for gifting subs? Cause I really, I really need to like spend a day coming up with like a bunch of new emote ideas. Cause I have like 20 something slots now. Cause Twitch added like a bunch of animated slots and stuff. Give me back Sonic. I'll have to, I'll have to save it as a GIF and upload it as a GIF, but I can do that. I'll probably bring a couple emotes back from the archives and just save them, resave them as GIF files and upload them as animated.
I really want that taser emo that I was talking about from Mel. I think they would do a good job animating it. I could try it myself. I wouldn't be opposed to the challenge. Because I have made emotes now. I've made like three Twitch emotes for people. Icons are definitely the most popular commission that I get. Um, for sure. And then the full body and the emote ones have been pretty similar in, in amount. Damn, five star. Hopefully I get some five stars then from these parsnips. Maybe I should buy some fertilizer. Add an explosion effect to Sonic. That would be funny. I think just like a emote of an explosion would be fucking hilarious. For like when someone roasts me really fucking hard. Like a mushroom cloud that has like a couple frames of animation. Like very SNES sprite amount of animation. I need a green bean. All right, Gus, I don't know if you're gonna get it, but we'll keep in touch. Okay, hello, Pierre. Oh, cutscene. I'm very honored to be in the presence of so many locals. locals. Well, if it isn't the TikTok queen of Animal Crossing. Hello, Ash, thank you so much for the raid. You're doing great on TikTok. I just have to say, I see your videos, I'm following you, obviously, but like, I get your videos on my For You page like every goddamn day, at least once a day, and they're all so good. So yeah, just wanted to shout you out for that. Um, but thank you for the raid, hello everybody. I'm playing Stardew Valley. I play a lot of games, Animal Crossing being one of them. But I haven't played Stardew Valley since it came out on the Switch like seven years ago. So I am back in it, playing through a bunch of the stuff that I've done in the past on my previous file, but I don't really remember all of it. And I'm gonna try out some of the new stuff too eventually that they added and all the updates that I've missed. So I'm excited, but hello. Don't know how much longer I'll be streaming, at least another half an hour. Um, but I start kind of late today, so, but hello. Anyway, thank you again, Ash. Hope you're doing great. Hope life's treating you well. Uh, welcome to Pierre's. How can I help you? Oh, it's just the Jojamar guy. Gotta sleep now. Bye. Have a good night. I need more coffee. I know it's late, but... Ahem. He, why does he have to show up in an evil cloak? Oh, it just looks like an evil cloak. Never mind. Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Jojamar. 50%? Well, any takers? Honestly, maybe I put Pierre on my fucking characters I hate list. <laughs> Fuck this guy. But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. Pierre or Abigail? I do not like Abigail. But maybe Pierre. That could be fucking funny. You must be so difficult. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. But can you blame them? Joja Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon the whole town will realize that. Not you hating a small business owner. He's toxic. And I want to see him burn. Hello. Fertilizer, please. I'll buy them out. Ooh, rice shoot. That's cool. I'm gonna save this, well, no, I should really... Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fish quite a bit today, make some more money, and then 
try to grow some parsnips for my catalog that have a gold star. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, aquarium. Specialty fish, yeah, there we go. Lake fish, eel. Ooh, I gotta do this. River fish, okay. Um, let me just check it with this. Pantry, boiler room, blacksmith bundle, geologist bundle, adventurer's bundle, fish tank, I already checked this. Craft room, foraging stuff. I love these sprites. This is probably one of my favorite pages. I love all of these sprites. Okay. So I'm going to sell this stone fish. To the fish guy. Catch a few fish. Try to get some money so I can buy some more parsnip seeds. Thankfully, they're pretty cheap. But yeah, I definitely want to get the gold parsnips before the end of spring. And I believe I have, like, less than 10 days left to do that. Unless there's 28 days in a month, which means then I do have 10 days. An oyster. Oyster. I found an oyster. Four fifty? Holy fucking shit. Fiberglass rod, cool. I can craft bait with bug meat. Wow. Hell yeah. I'll have to save for that. Choosing corporations in the name of, ew, I don't like you. Yeah, religious. He's religious. <laughs> He's stingy. And he's a nerd. I need the big soundboard. I need to, I would like to save up for the big stream day. Morris is giving the evil guy from the Lorax, the Onceler. Or no, the tiny guy. The tiny guy. Let it die, let it die. Level, let it shrivel up and die. Yeah, rip magic heart. Selling air. Oh, Hair Air, yeah. I kind of want to watch The Lorax again. It's a good movie. It's a very, very good movie. If I played this game with a controller instead, my posture would also be better because I keep catching myself like not sitting well <laughs> while playing this. All right, this will be my last fish, and then I'm gonna go buy parsnips. Parsnip seeds. Anchovies. 
Ooh, I could sell the bait that I made. That's kind of nice if I need some extra cash. All right, how many do I need? Five? Easy. That's so, so good. And I have melon seeds, too, that I can grow. Yeah, I've got that gamer posture right now. I've been really trying to work out my back in the gym to try to help correct my posture. Because it's one thing to just, like, think it, but it helps a lot to have, like, a... I need to work out my core, too. I almost never do core work. Because I don't really care about having abs, and it also is exhausting. Um, but having a strong core is just... It's very helpful. Having strong muscles all over your body only helps other workouts like they it's not just like one thing is all that's used and i think that i would have a i would it would benefit me to have a stronger core muscle group for the rest of my exercises the rice grow plant these in the spring takes eight days I'm gonna save it for next spring it's just a little too late now to justify it I could go no I'm not gonna go to the cave I'll fish more. And then I think this will be my last game for today. What's the difference between solid yellow lines and solid white lines on the road? Um, I don't know the difference between them. But I do know that solid lines mean you can't cross them. And dotted lines means that you can change lanes. I do know that. But I don't know the difference between solid yellow and solid white. Yellow represents different traffic directions, while white is everyone goes in the same direction. Wow. Honestly, I have been remembering things like from these I mean you've only done two of these little tests to me but it is a funny way to like learn the things just like getting jump scared <laughs> Mel today sent me a crudely drawn doodle in their notes app of a sign shape and they were like what does this mean and I'm like well fuck well, like well usually like, they have a symbol on them that it, it's specific. And it was the school zone sign, which I was like, oh, well, I would have known that if it had a picture of students on it, which most do. What if I was like, and then I found out it was a stop sign. Mel is going to try to get their learner's permit before they come, before everybody comes to visit the first weekend in May. And I think I would also like to try to get that. Because that just involves like a written test. in this game
It is agonizing. I definitely need a rod that I can put bait on. This shit takes too long. Mel, I'm gonna end soon. Do you wanna play Fortnite? I don't even want to think about LA DMVs. I went to the DMV with my sister when she was getting something. I don't remember what. And we got there first thing in the morning and it was still like a two hour wait. And we were like one of the first three people in. I could not, I mean, I knew, I have heard horror stories, so I was expecting it, but I was like, wow. We're literally like one of the first people in and it's still taking this long. No, alas, I was about to brush my teeth and go to sleep. Actually, I was gonna play New Horizons in bed. Wow! How fun. I love that you are still into that game too. Are you gonna stream tomorrow? If you are, I'll try to wake up early. Because I want to stream early tomorrow. And I need to. I need another reason to get out of bed other than like doing boring stuff like making a thumbnail and going to the gym. But if I also wake up to a Mel stream. Yeah, I can. Yay! Doing what I want. I love when people do what I want. It's so fun for me. I want to finish GTA so I could play Resident Evil 7. Okay. 300 pieces of wood, huh? I can make that happen. But you won't wake up early for a Waru Peachy stream, I see. Checkmate, atheist. <laughs> I've been feeling bad about missing both of them. Let's save the game, and then that'll be it for me today. Did I unlock the recycling machine? I think I might have. No, I haven't. I think I will after I sleep. I think it's like an, an idea to sleep on. Played a little bit of Sonic Transformed. My game crashed twice. Damn. Try to use the config menu and like maybe alter your graphics. I didn't have a problem. I had a problem with the first game. How many of you bought Sonic All-Stars Transformed because of my tweet yesterday? Because I would like to stream that soon. I need to unlock characters in my free time. Um, I bought it for like five of my friends yesterday because it was so cheap. But how many of you own it slash bought it yesterday on Steam? It's okay if you opted not to. I need to say this now. What? I'm maining Samba de Amigo. Yay! I love him. No one else can pick him. Okay. I had a little... I have a... An eye eye. Hang on, let me go get him. He's somewhere over here. Mm. Or not, apparently. He's not over here. What the hell? Never mind. What are you looking for? One of my little figures. Uh, he's from Monkey Ball. They had a, they made a bunch of little, uh, Sonic All-Stars racing, like, car replicas, and I got one of I.I. and Samba de Amigo, and they're little. I got them back in the day, when that game was new. But, alas, they're not around. Oh well. I've never played it before, but I liked it, you know, aside from the crashing. 
It's cool. I'm again, I'm more familiar with the original, but um, the bit of uh, transformed I did play, I did like. So, okay. Thank you for watching, everybody. Good night. I will see you tomorrow with Princess Peach Showtime, which I guess is out. But I'll play it tomorrow. Because I figure most people are going to be like, I don't want to be spoiled. Which, I don't know how much plot there is in this game, but I respect it. So, get ahead of me in the game so you can watch. I heard it's short, so I might even end up beating it tomorrow. Um, anyway, I'm going to raid my pal Mads. They're shiny hunting Snivy in Pokemon Black and White 2. So you get to see low poly Bianca on the bottom screen every few minutes. And it's a really good model. I would love a Pokemon game that is like 32 bit looking. Or like, like just below GameCube. Not 128, but like 111 or something like that. That many bits. Okay, everyone, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.